Welcome everyone. So today I am going to show you divisibility rules for the numbers 23, 29 and 31. So now this is on special request of one of my subscriber. Her name is Hufesa. So Hufesa, this is specially for you and for people who really don't understand how to divide these kind of big numbers with prime numbers like 31 or 29 or 23 then trust me this video is going to be like super super helpful for any of yours okay so now here please understand this is something which is basic you will multiply with 7 here you will multiply by 3 and here you will multiply by minus 3 okay now you must be wondering what is this okay so basically what you do is in these kind of scenarios you will multiply with these kind of these numbers whatever the numbers are only to the last digit of your answer or of your question actually so here you have what 1702 so now this 2 gets multiplied by what 7 so what you have is what 2 into 7 gets you 14 so you will add 14 to the rest of the numbers which is what 170 so 170 plus 14 gets you how much 180 now again you will multiply 7 and this last number which is 4. So you will have what? 28. Now when you add this you get what? 46. Now those of you who know 23 is stable or you know that the double at least you can do double and triple. Okay. So double of 23 will get you what? 46. So now this number is completely divisible by the number given which is what 23 okay so please understand the logic is very very simple and it is same for every of every uh, possible numbers given over here so if you want you can take a pause and try for each of these okay now if you look closely i've done a smaller number in the top and a bigger number in the bottom similarly for this case as well as your as well so reason for that is because see if you had such a small number this you could have done it orally, okay? But normally you'll get stuck when you'll have a bigger number. So in that case, you please apply this rule and see whether you're getting the answer or not, okay? So now over here, let's try this. Multiply this with 7. You will add this, which is what? 63. 9 into 7 gets you 63. You add this, you get 5, 9, 4, 4, 2. Multiply 5 with 7 so you will have 35 when you add them you have 14 1 carry 8 4 2 multiply 4 with 7 28 add them you will have 16 1 carry 7 and 2 multiply 6 with 7 so you have what 42 I'll write down the year so 42 plus 27 is what 9 and 6 now if you see 23 into 6 gets you what sorry 23 into 3 gets you 69 so obviously this number is also completely divisible by 23 okay so i hope you are getting the hang of it now if you are liking the way i'm explaining then please do go ahead and hit the like button and also don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section. So now here, what you have is, again, we will multiply with what? 3. Please remember, this. these numbers are super important. If you remember this much, your entire problem is solved. Your entire trick is based on these numbers only. See, once you get the hang of addition, it's very, very easy. Okay? So now you multiply 3 and 4. So you have what? 12. You get this as 29. So this is obviously divisible by 29 please understand while adding you do not have to add your answer to the number which was getting multiplied in the previous step here also if you had multi if you had added 28 to 4 so 8 plus 4 then entire thing becomes completely wrong so you have to leave the number which you are multiplying okay so now over here again multiply this with 3 you get 27 when you add them you have 3, 8, 5, 7. Multiply this with 3, you get 21. When you add them, you have 6, 10, 1 carry 4. 
Multiply this with 3, you get 18. You add them, you have 58. Now, you know that 29 into 2 gets you 58. Please understand, not every time you will get a proper 29 answer. In this case also you got 46, here also you got 69. So if that is coming out, you just have to do this orally, like just multiply it. See, what is the double of 29? What is the triple of 29? But that much only you should go. Because whenever you get a two digit answer, it cannot be more than that. Okay. So that is where you will stop and then you will realize whether it is getting divided or not. Instead of 58, if you had 57, you would have said that this number is not getting divisible by 29 completely. Okay. So now again. So now you all um, must be wondering what is this minus 3. Please understand, here everywhere you are multiplying with positive numbers. Since multiplication positive, this was also positive and this is also positive. Multiplying two positive numbers, your answer will always be positive. But here, you when you multiply 8 with minus 3, your answer comes out to be minus 24. So when you do this particular calculation, you get the answer is 0. So understand, whenever you are multiplying a negative number, there is a very high chance you get the answer as negative or it comes out to be 0. If it comes out to be 0, then you can say that the number is completely divisible by 31. But if it comes out to be negative number which cannot be divided by 31 at all, then it is absolutely not divisible by 31. But 99.99% you will not get a negative answer. You will always get a positive answer or you will get uh, something in the form of 0. Okay. So now let's see what happens over here. Okay. I'll put your DIY over here. I'll just give you any random number. You will have to calculate and tell me whether it is divisible or not. Okay. So here again multiply this with minus 3 you will get what? Minus 24. Now understand this is a bit tricky. Please understand addition is always easy. Because we have we have channeled only like that. Addition becomes very easy for everyone. But when it comes to subtraction, you have to pay a little bit of attention. Okay. So you cancel this becomes 13. This becomes 2. So this becomes 0. This becomes 9. We have 6, 3, 1. Multiply this with minus 3. So you have minus 27. So this becomes 5. This becomes 10. So this is 3, 3, 3. 1. Multiply this with minus 3. So you have minus 9. Make this 13. This becomes 12. So you have 4. Okay. Again, multiply this with minus 3. You will get 12. Minus 12. Sorry. So answer is 0. So here also I can say this is completely divisible by the number 31. So I hope you all have gotten the hang of this. Normally, these kind of numbers don't come. But if they do come, then it becomes too much of a trouble to solve. Okay. So, it is better to do this particular method. Okay. So, now coming to your DIY, you have to tell me whether the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is divisible by 29. Is it divisible or is it divisible? not divisible okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video